can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's big question. Given this right triangle, now let's draw a square inside of it. And this segment measures 7 units. And this segment measures 14 units. Now the question is what is the area of this yellow square? Now pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question. Because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. All right, so given this right triangle and inside of this right triangle, we have a square, then the goal is to find the area of this yellow square. Now to answer this kind of question, what we're going to do is to notice some similar triangles. Now, where are they? If we let this angle be equal to alpha and this angle be equal to beta, we know alpha plus beta adds up to 90 degrees. And since this is alpha, this angle right over here must be equal to beta because these two angles adds up to 90 degrees. Now, if this is beta, this angle right over here must be equal to alpha. Therefore, we can say that these two right triangles are similar to each other. Now, since they are similar to each other, notice their hypotenuse. This is 7, this is 14. So, 14 is twice of 7. So, the hypotenuse of this big right triangle is twice the hypotenuse of the short or the smaller right triangle. Now let's focus on this small right triangle and let x be this side. Therefore, the shorter side of this big right triangle must be equal to twice of x, which is equal to 2x. Now take note, this 2x is simply the side of our square. And we know all sides of the square are equal. So we can put this 2x in this position. Now, Let's focus on this right triangle right over here. And since it is a right triangle, we will use the Pythagorean theorem. And we can also solve for the value of x. So I have x squared plus 2x raised to the power of 2 equals 7 squared. Or a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now simplify. 2x raised to the power of 2 will give us 4x squared. If we combine x squared and 4x squared, we have 5x squared. Now divide both sides by 5, we get that x squared equals 49 over 5. Now, take note that the goal is not to find the value of x, but to find the area of our square. So now, let's focus on this. And since we want to find the area of this yellow square, we know how to find the area of a square, which is the length of the side raised to the power of 2, or simply 2x raised to the power of 2. Now, 2x raised to the power of 2 will give us 4x squared. Now, we know the value of x squared. This is 49 over 5. So, if we substitute the value of x squared, we are done. So, the area of the square equals 4 times 49 over 5. And 4 times 49 over 5 will give us 196 over 5. And this is the area of this yellow square. Therefore, given this figure, then the area of the yellow square inside of our right triangle equals 196 over 5 square units. And as always, we are done.